everyone, it's me Maddie, and welcome back to another Miraculous Ladybug reaction of season 4. Am I grateful that this season's almost over? Yes, I am. I very, very, very much so am. Uh, but, uh, last night the news hit that Spectrum, somebody on Spectrum, accidentally released this Miraculous episode and it was, it's not scheduled to be out yet. I'm pretty sure, like, Gloob was gonna, not Gloob, but another, like, company was, like, gonna release this earlier, like, last year, late last year. And, uh, the fandom said, uh, -uh no, 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 you're not gonna do that. And so they had to actually pull it back. And, well, Spectrum was like, we're gonna do it on accident. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're here to react to the first part. We only have the first part. I hope it's good, guys. I really would like a good episode of Miraculous. I don't know the last. Actually, I did like Psychopenium. That was, like, a really funny episode. I skipped the beginning of it because I was like, I could care less about Meredith trying to ask Adrian out because I already know it is a fail. Uh, but that was a freaking hilarious episode. So, that was great. I loved it. I have absolutely no complaints. Uh, for Psycho Comedian, except for the fact that they reuse Marinette, trying to become relationshipy, lovey-dovey with Adrian. Yeah, well, I'm tired of that. So, without further ado, let's watch this episode, Risk. Lady Luck never makes a mistake. Neither do you. <laughs> Ladybug makes mistakes. She makes plenty of mistakes. Like, why is she such a stalker? I mean, well, that's not Ladybug, that's Marinette. But they're the same freaking person, okay? Trust me, Shadow Moth, Ladybug makes a ton of mistakes. But we, as a fandom, like to, like, ignore them. Or more like they get written to be ignored. So... Promise you, she makes plenty, plenty of mistakes. Plenty. Yeah. Neither do you. <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> he doesn't make any mistakes? Girl, he's acclimatized a freaking baby like five times. That's just a waste. And I promise you, if he started using more deadly Akumas, he would probably have already won. Oh my god, this show would have been so freaking good if it was for ages older than seven. I'm just saying, can y'all imagine them actually having to fight something with consequences? Well, I, for one, would love to have breakfast with you. Oh, I love you, Mike. And be able to have breakfast with him just once. I'm gonna go talk to him. Yeah, Adrian! You didn't realize that your father will take this very badly, right? I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> father, I need to talk to you. A girl. Lila! Lila! She's at the, his house! <laughs> oh, dude, I love my man Adrian! Did Adrian demanding what he really wants instantly puts a smile on my face? Oh my god, it totally does! It so does! Uh, he was so not having it with her. <sighs> dude! First love, the fragrance. Dude, I feel so bad for Adrian. Gabriel is an absolutely, like, horrible dad. And even if you, like, believe in the theory that Emily, or Emily, or his mom was, like, actually, like, evil because of, like, the Peacock Miraculous or whatever. Like, there's a theory. It's by uh, Smarty Pants on YouTube if you want to check it out. Like, look up Emily Smarty Pants on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, but even if you believe that, then, like... A, like, Gabriel's still a bad parent without her here. Like, she's not dictating him to do this. This is him, and he sucks. Oh, but I'm just gonna mess it all up as usual. Risk, 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 risk. Yeah. Adrian, I... <laughs> yeah, gotcha, buddy. I understand you. Well, you're the only one. Because she loves you. <gasps> No, 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, this was their best conversation. Yes, it was 100%. Ah! with your best friend like mm, I don't know if you do it as like if you don't ever do it and then you're just standing on the sidelines and suddenly you reach over and grab her hand with yours that's kind of like you just wanted to touch her like you wanted that physical connection so he's also touch starved though so it's kind of hard to tell with Adrian if he actually likes her or not or if he was just touching her because he is literally starved for the touch of another human um Finally, an episode that doesn't show Mary as a stalker. Yes! Yes! But as your BFF, I refuse to follow along with this plan, for your own good as well as his. You won't follow along with this plan, but you'll follow along with the plan she had in Cat Blanc, or the uh, one where she uh, broke into his house and Gabriel aggressed. You'll follow along with those, but not this one. Oh uh, yeah, you need to stop Stalkernet, not Marinette. Felix? Hi there, my favorite cousin. Felix! He's here! But he's not wearing his outfit. He does not look good in that outfit. It's like the outfit, like, if you have hair like Adrian does, the, the hair kind of like cancels out the shoulders of the shirt or whatever but uh he doesn't have adrian's hair so he just dude felix i love you but this is just not it but help adrian because deep down felix loves adrian as a cousin not romantically but he loves uh, adrian like has his, like, as if he was his own brother because he could be i don't know and then he, so he just needs, he needs, he wants to help Adrian in his own way. But now that they both have the risk thing, they're going to help each other free Adrian from Gabriel's hold. Yes, guys, I uh, do love Felix. And I do have a deep lore that actually Adrian, that Felix actually cares greatly for its cousin. I know. And that's why the second I saw your face on TV this morning, I left London to get you out of this mess. Oh my god, see, I told you guys, I told you that Felix cares deeply for Adrian. I told you, I told you. Oh, I love my senti monster boys. Oh, the... You can't, but I can. Team up, the team up we've always wanted. We want this. Oh my God, I freaking love you, Felix, and I love you, Adrian, and I love you two together. You are such a powerful duo, and I just so joy, so much joy, so much joy. I knew it, Shadow Moth. Yeah, but he he wears it usually. Like he has it on usually. It's hidden. It's tucked beneath his throat. Uh. Scarf, you know? <laughs> what? Felix, does it horrify you? The fact that your aunt is stuck in a coma beneath your uncle's house? Is that a little bit of a nightmare factor? The fact that he built this is a little bit of a nightmare factor. Why is this so large? Like, why? Like, you didn't need this dramatic catwalk or bridge, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you didn't need this, like, giant dome. Like, where in the world? How deep below your house is this a basement would have worked fine like you know just a basement that's six feet underground that's what that's fine i have a basement i could put a secret door before the basement stairs and i could hide emily beneath it too gabriel like you didn't need this ginormous thing and my son Dude, oh my god, he just said he trusts her with his son. If he wasn't such of a horrible father, that would mean so much. <laughs> I don't think that they actually plan on Adrian being a senti monster until the fandom was like so like, that's such a great idea. And so they were like, mm, and kind of this. So let's just start heavily hinting toward it in season four and act like we hinted toward it in between one and three, uh, which you didn't. But we're, they can, they're going to act like they did. Oh my god, does he wanna does he want Adrian's life? Felix, I was rooting for you! <laughs> I was rooting for you, Felix! I was literally I, 
you know? Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Yeah, so, what? Oh my god, he just transformed on top of the Eiffel Tower. In public! My guy, Natalie, Natalie, you were like, you don't make mistakes. He does, girl. He makes a stupid mistakes. I know Marinette transforms behind a pillar and Adrian transforms behind a bench, but at least they have like a slate before their transformation. This dude just straight up was like, hmm, transforming in front of my country. I don't care who sees. Like, oh my god, oh my god, we don't even have Why? Oh, dear lord! He's big, big! I guess he would look small in comparison to the Eiffel Tower. But I was like, why would she risk him? He doesn't, like, why did you pick him? But then he stepped on a bus, and I was like, oh, his feet are like 20 million times the size of Ladybug. Uh. <gasps> with such little hope such little hope and this was so good guys this was so freaking good this was so freaking good oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> I can't articulate to you guys how much I enjoyed this episode like this was just beauty it was gold it was Oh my god, I, 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 I can't, I don't know how to like explain my thoughts because I just finished it and because it was so good and because it, so much happened, so much has been set up, if only the rest of the season has been this good, like everything that was like everything is happening in these final two episodes and I'm so excited for the last part. Quinlan? No, 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 no. Mm, 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 mm. Give me the last attack, last attack of Shadow Moth part two. Give me that part two. And oh, dude, 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 dude. Like what did Felix grab? Does, does he just have a set of fakes? Like is that all that Gabriel has? has a set of fakes. Felix, you betrayed me. Also, like, this is his last attack, so that that begs the question, is Adrian about to find out that his dad is Shadow Moth? And oh my god, fan fiction, please! I need all of this fan fiction right now. Right now. Oh my god, I just, I just, oh, uh, that was so freaking good. That was so good. So, 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 so good. I'm going to try. I'm going to link the first part where I watched the, the first part. I'm going to link it down in the description box. And then I'm also going to link part eight of, on this new channel in the description box because that's where, that's what picks up after the other channel has posted the first part, 1 to 11. Um, but... Yeah, that would be the end of the episode, I'm pretty sure, because uh, this is only part one. Uh, this episode is only the first half, and it was so good, and I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait! I can't wait for uh, part two to come out, and I'm so excited to post that, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if I, okay, I actually, like, I get to start, like, finish edits. I have so many edits of um, Miraculous just I've been waiting to do. I have one for Gabriel and Adrian that's been halfway finished for, like, th like three months now because I just wanted, I'm waiting for the finale to see what happens to see if I can include those clips. And I'm going to be able to do that now. And I'm so excited to be able to post AMVs of Miraculous. And... Oh my gosh. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm losing my voice. I'm hungry. I need to edit this and then I need to read. And so much of my
my life is like, woo! today. Today's gonna be a great day. Today is gonna be a fan freaking tastic day. I hope your day is just as great as mine's gonna be. I love you all so much. Tell me in the comments what you thought of this episode, and I gotta go, woo! I love you all so much. Bye, guys, and hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everybody.